I don't know. I wasn't expecting anyone. Oh, no, I was. Uh, hey, hey, AD, come on in. Welcome to our New York home. I forgot, AD's coming. <laughs> Thanks for letting me know. So this is our home in New York. We spend about half of the year here. I do a lot of theater. I did theater before meeting Justin, and Justin's actually producing theater um, kind of recently, you know, last two years, and he actually has a Tony Award for producing Oklahoma on Broadway, which is very exciting. I've been acting on stage for 20 years now, and I've never been nominated, but he has a Tony for his first time out. Can we I hold it? We can share it, yeah. Oh, thank you. He says we could share it. Yeah but this is where it lives so everyone can see it when they walk in. And it's right next to our Moon Man. We were in uh, three seconds of a Taylor Swift video, and yet we have two men Moon Men for it. One person. Moon Eye. Moon Eye. <laughs> a Moon Eye is a singular. We have Moon Men. So this is a great place to have uh, your, your coats hanging, and you can sit here and take your shoes off when you come in. Um, the streets of New York are very dirty, so it's nice to have a shoe-free um, apartment. Take your shoes off. Okay, come on in. This is actually the entrance where we come into our apartment. It's our own designated elevator entrance. Storage is really tight here in New York, so we, we built in these drawers and spaces where you could take your shoes off and put umbrellas when you come in. And Abe Lincoln. Abe Lincoln right here. As we come into the apartment, he greets us with his big dramatic hat. Honest Abe. So if you come in here, this is our living room and dining room. In New York, you sort of combine spaces sometimes. So we were searching for something to put above this banquette that we have in the, the dining area. And we found this artist. Megan Schemack. Megan Schemack, and she custom designed this piece for us. And it's wool, which is very cool. I, I kind of feel like it's like what Santa's beard would look like if he went to Burning Man. What else? Oh, Sarah Jessica Parker. We have a few sculptural pieces in the apartment and Justin likes to name them. So this is the first one that we got. Sarah Jessica Parker. Sarah Jessica Parker. And she's actually wearing jewelry that we had to wear for a birthday party. It was a themed birthday party and we just dressed her up. She didn't come with this jewelry. We gave her that jewelry. You're welcome, Sarah Jessica Parker. So this is actually a cabinet we had custom built for the space. There was a very awkward nook in this wall and we built in a cabinet and it actually goes back quite far. You can see how far the, the cabinet goes back, but this is very rare in New York to have drawer space like this. And there's, you know, cabinets for the, um... this does not belong in here, Justin. Um, How'd that get there? I don't know. He's taunting me with it. <laughs> um, but that's for, we talked about this, it was just for flatware and like plates and bowls yeah, and sorry. the Tony can stay in the, the entryway. And then this space naturally opens up into the living room area. And because we don't live here full time, we wanted it to feel like a really comfortable hotel that happened to have a kitchen and all of our clothes already in it. <laughs> so this is one of our other sculptural pieces that I've named Timothée Chalamet. Mm -hmm. Not Timothy Chalamet, Timothée Chalamet. It's pronounced Timothée. There you go. I, I thought we were like kind of drawing from the wool art and bringing it down to this area, but apparently it's just because the sheep reminds him of Timothée Chalamet. Well, I just like to say good morning to him every morning. Right. I mean, the, the whole apartment's basically designed around the sheep now. Hi, Timmy. So this is where we spend most of our time in the apartment. This is the cloud. This is what the couch is called, and it's just... It's a little hard to get up from. My mom just came for Christmas, and she never got up for the entire week because I think she, I thought she was just comfortable, but I, I think she physically couldn't get up. It's really comfortable. You really sink into it. <laughs> yeah. These side tables are actually really cool because we found a very similar piece that didn't have storage in it. It was just a big block of wood, basically, with this leather top. And so we took this idea to a custom furniture maker and had uh, our version, and drawers have been put in, so that there's storage in it. Because again, you know, I think everything should also serve as a, a storage piece when you're living in New York. There's pots and pans under this, <laughs> under this couch. There's not, but it's actually a really great idea. Yeah. <laughs> so this building was actually a new build, and we were the first people to move into this unit, but it definitely needed some customizing. I think when you buy apartments that are new builds in New York now, they sort of give you the, the bare bones, and you have to kind of, kind of come in and bring your own flair to it. So now we can show you the kitchen here. The, there's a Tony. There it is again. Okay. It's like this all the time. He just, he's always talking about the Tony. It's 
Back? Okay, good. So this is the kitchen. I love this kitchen. We actually added quite a bit of storage that you can't see from where, where you're standing right now. But when you come in, you're gonna see there's a whole shelf up here. This whole beam was basically created and it all flows into these metal shelves over here where we have open shelving for glassware and pretty trinkets. We tried to find storage in every possible nook and cranny. I'm actually the cook in the family. Um, I'm actually at this moment working on a cookbook. So uh, I'm doing a little bit of my testing for my cookbook here in this very space. It's a great kitchen to cook in. Again, we have tons of storage space for all the equipment that I need. Also, Justin likes to eat paleo a lot. Um, so I'm cooking him a lot of paleo food. Um, this bread actually, let's just call it photo shoot bread because we never have a full loaf of bread unless never. we have AD here shooting photos. Little sure. peek behind the curtain for those of you who are watching this video. Some stuff is brought in. Our designer, Peter Gursky, who also designed the set for Will and Grace, often gets us made things from the Warner Brothers lot, and the great team at Warner Brothers made this cock for us. After a bar in New York City called The Cock. It's a gay bar. It's a gay bar. And also roosters are good luck. Roosters are good luck, good, very good luck in kitchens, yes. I don't know if people knew that, but we thought it would be a funny and sweet homage to uh, a New York institution. Take a look this way. This is actually a custom wallpaper we had made for the space in New York. This is an artist who designed wallpaper for the Sunset Tower in Los Angeles. And uh, we asked him if he would do some custom wallpaper for our powder room here. So he did a very New York centric wallpaper. We have our, our dog, Sammy, our dog, Leaf is up here, Justin on a bike, lovers walking through Chelsea, a menu because we love to eat, a martini because we love to drink. And uh, it's just, I love, I love the vibe of this powder room. I think it's really chic. It's kind of the first thing you see when you walk through the elevator. And so we thought if you're gonna have to look at a powder room when you walk in the door, like make it a wow factor. All right, so this is actually a two bedroom apartment. We've never had a guest room in New York. So we're really excited about this. And again, things sort of have to serve a, a dual purpose. So this is our guest room slash office. And I love this built-in desk piece. It's just kind of exactly what I imagined being in this room. We sort of had a hard time finding it, but when we found it, I was like, that's the one. This piece over here is the original poster from Jesse's Broadway debut on the town. That's baby Jesse, 21 years old. <laughs> and Leah Delaria, his yeah. best friend. That's actually the, the full page ad in the New York Times. Oh. Yeah, yeah. It was only $19. And I wasn't nominated for a Tony for it. Yes. This is our master bathroom. Um, and one of the challenges in this space was that it was sort of a big marble box. It felt like a hotel bathroom. Yeah, which, you know, I love a hotel bathroom, but we also wanted it to feel like it's a place that we live. So it was challenging finding ways to dress this up to look like it's a residence. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, we added some plants here in the corner, which was actually an inspiration that I got from this really fantastic, very inexpensive, but wonderfully designed spa in Los Angeles called The Now. And they had hanging succulents in one of the, the bathrooms. I thought that's a fantastic idea. What and else? the heated floors. It's like the most luxurious on your toes. Yes, that, that was a feature that came with the, with the apartment. Never knew I wanted a heated floor until I stepped onto this floor. Now I have Justin carrying me in the areas of the apartment that aren't heated. I don't like sitting, standing on a floor that's not heated. All right. We have two children <laughs> um, and they're in Los Angeles right now. So these are portraits that are done by an artist, Ben Linovitz. His mother actually owns Fish's Eddie, which is a store that we love here in New York City, and he specializes in pet portraits. So we commissioned him to paint some. He does them on cardboard, which I also love. They're very affordable, and it's a great way to bring our dogs to us when they're in Los Angeles and we're here. And they're quieter in this form. This is our closet doors that we customized um, we took out the big door. It was a full size door that sort of opened up and took, did it open in or out? It opened in actually. And it took up all of the closet space. So we sawed it in half and created these gorgeous half doors. Yeah. It feels like you're entering into um, a ballroom, but then when you get inside, it's just a tiny closet. 
Yeah, yeah it's tiny. <laughs> but it feels very luxurious to go, go into your closet like this. It's dramatic. Drama. I mean, you gotta look for drama in small places. So this is our master bedroom, and we actually have another one of our pieces that Justin has named here. Tilda Swinton. It's Tilda Swinton. Because she's a beauty. And long she has neck. a long neck, and she's a giraffe here. And she's paper mache, I believe. Where did we find her? She first dibs, first and she dibs. she was the first thing we actually got for this apartment. We didn't pick out really the most practical thing when we started designing. We're like, let's get a paper mache giraffe. Like we didn't even have a bed yet, <laughs> but we have a paper mache giraffe. So this piece here was actually custom made for the space. Again, looking for storage in all the the spaces we can possibly get storage. There are drawers underneath the bed. This is actually Justin's side, which you can tell because there's the Tony. And then I'm on the other side here. We actually closed in the walls a bit to create this sort of natural headboard. It's an upholstered headboard. And then in the space that we closed the walls in, we actually used that space and it's little pocket doors for storage. And uh, the linens on the bed are actually from Thread Experiment, which is a company that Justin started and he's the co-founder of. All the designs are very neutral and they have masculine aesthetic. They're based on menswear. So it, it's a lot less frills and pinks and a little more subdued. Less sort of Laura thing. Ashley, more thread experiment. Yeah. That's, that's what we were going for. <laughs> um, we love the art in this room. It's basically just found pieces. We don't know who painted these. I played a sailor in On the Town. That was my first job that Jess was talking about. So put a sailor on the wall. I think she looks like Cheetah Rivera, so why not? Over here, we have some other pieces that we found. I once got in trouble, not in trouble, but someone criticized me on, on Twitter for saying Yas Queen. He said I was too old to say Yas Queen. I don't think anyone's too old to say Yas Queen. So, to show him, I have it framed by my bed. <laughs> Yas Queens! <laughs> I showed him. All right, thank you so much, AD, for checking out our home. We love having you here. And uh, why don't you go ahead and take the elevator down? Just gotta wait for it. Usually it comes pretty fast. It went well. Hmm? There it is, okay. Great. Thank you so much. See you later. Thank you, bye-bye. Bye. Thank you, bye. See ya. Okay, okay.